There are two products I use to coat the plastic cloth and to add scenic texture to it. And I use them more or less interchangeably. One is Gypsolite. Gypsolite is a base coat plaster and it was originally manufactured to use as the base coat under a finished plaster wall. It is a plaster product and it has vermiculite in it which gives it some texture. The other product I use all the time is Sculptor Mold. Sculptor Mold is a very, very forgiving product. It's a clay-based material that mixes with water. It has very good cleanup ability. And when it dries, it's lightweight. It's very flexible. It can be drilled, tapped, painted. And the best thing about these two products over all others is that they take paint the same way as foam rock castings, plaster rock castings do. The mixing formula for gypsolite is pretty simple. It's two parts gypsolite, which I've already pre-measured in this coffee cup, to one part of water. And the water is here. So now that we've got it mixed, I'm going to show you how to apply it. The first thing I want to do is wet down the existing scenery. And I'm going to start by just troweling on the gypsolite. You don't have to be fussy with this. You could do this with a brush. The thickness doesn't matter much as long as you cover the plaster wrap. This is the rock mold that I've selected. It's just a piece of a foam rock. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put gypsolite on the rear of the rock. You don't have to be fussy. We're just going to push the rock casting up into place. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to push the gypsolite up and around the rock casting. Of course, the big advantage, and I've mentioned this before, is the working time. I am in no hurry to make sure that everything is in the right place here because I've got 30 to 45 minutes to, to uh, work with this. And I usually take all of that time. There's our little china bristle brush. And what I'm doing, I'm just wiping the excess from the surface of the casting. Before we leave Gypsolite, I want to show you how it looks all set. Here it is. It's dry. It's hard. In fact, it's hard as a rock. But it's still soft enough that you can carve it with a very sharp knife. But you should do your carving while it's wet with a wet brush. That's the best way. So here it is, and it's ready for paint. This is Sculptor Mold. This is available from Scenic Express, just like the Gypsolite was. Comes in a nice big tub. Nice thing about the tub, it keeps it fresh. This is my favorite modeling material. I use it everywhere. For almost every situation, you can model rocks with it. You can use it just as a cover for plaster wrap. You can take a brush like this, and you can put texture into the surface. And as it sets, just troweled on, it has a little bit of surface texture. What I've done here, I've taken some rock castings. These are plastic castings, and I know they're hard to see because it's white on white here. Here are several different ones. These I made from uh, my own rubber molds. You can also use styrofoam rocks, but just be aware that you can use these interchangeably with plaster rocks. I'm going to add a little bit of sculptor mold right along beside this tunnel portal, and I'm going to plant my rock casting right into the sculptor mold base. 
Now some people in certain situations like to add a little bit of white glue to the sculpta mold mix. Uh, what it does, it gives it some strength. Okay, there's a rock mold pushed right in place. You can see that some has oozed out. You just take a wet brush and you can push it around. And like gypsolite, to get any on the rock surface, you can just wipe it away with a wet brush. I'm going to install some of these plastic castings. And the thing you always want to remember when you put in plastic castings is you should wet them. Either take your casting and put it in a bucket of water, or take a spray bottle like I'm doing here and soak the back of it. What this does, it keeps the plaster from absorbing the moisture out of the sculptor mold and uh, messing with its setting qualities. So we take our rock and we just push it right in there. And as you can see, it's a really nice fit. And we take our wet brush and we go around the edges and, and smooth out all the little pieces of sculptor mold that have oozed out from around the casting. Now we'll continue on and install the rest of them and then go away and let everything dry. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.